Now here is the second review I've filmed in, I'd say, a half hour. Let's get this going. Uh, Super Hot Rod GX requested both the Perceptor video and this right here. This is both versions of the Energon Saber. I say both versions. There was actually a third, which I don't have, which was the original. Let's go ahead and tilt this down just a little bit. A lot of remolding happened whenever you made these. To they made these toys. I'm gonna just break them down one at a time. This right here is Jetstorm. This is the original mold, and they renamed him Scatter with Scatter whenever he did this. And really, they only changed one piece on all of these figures, and that is the main part of the plane. The nose cones are the same. The tail fins the same. All the robot parts are the same, but just that one remolded piece makes a completely different looking figure. And let's see if I can't get something underneath him to make it stand out a little bit better. Here we go. Now, hope this shows up as good as I think it's showing up. Uh, really, I like this. They had a the first version of the figure was also clear. But it was a clear white, and it, it, it didn't look that good to me. So I, I passed on it and got the more Decepticon-themed one. Now, transformations are identical. You take and flip up the nose cone onto the top of the plane. The feet come unpegged from the arms. Fold that down. Fold that for you know, rotate the knees forward, fold the arms down, and the tail section of the plane. Uh, come on, you're gonna be difficult now. Comes down and forms the chest piece. A very odd looking chest piece. I don't much care for it, but overall, very good transformation. Uh, you probably be able to see this version better since he's not clear and you can actually see some definition to the figure. Take and fold that out, like I said, disconnecting the ankles from the elbows. Fold these forward and pull the knee off. You know, that, that always really helps the transformation out. You know, a one-legged robot. Everybody loves them and fold the forearms down. The tail section is going to be more cooperative this time. Fold it down into the chest and fold the nose section up. The Decepticon looking one looks a lot more sleek, a lot more menacing. This, the uh, Energon version, is very bulky but the colors are so bright you can't picture being anything else but an Autobot. Sonar is the name of this very stealth bomberish looking one and Skyboom is the name of the Energon version which to me that seems odd to have given him the name Skyboom considering another set of combining minicons became the Skyboom shield which I might do in another review I might not um, to transform him Take and separate the legs, pull them down like so, they're kind of slotted, they extend, rotate the feet forward, you have to flip this section right here down, and it pops his head up part way. So right there you have his head, the arms fold forward at the elbows like that. And there you have it. Oh, since I've transformed him backwards, you have to rotate the feet forward. And that'll let him stand. And he balances well. Uh, the Decepticon-ish version, same thing. I, I'm probably just going to cut this out, except for the fact that not being clear, you can probably see it better. So I, I, I probably won't cut this out. Uh, if I have to cut too much 
for time reasons, I'm just going to not show the transformations of the inner John. Just because they're so hard to see on video because of the light shining right through them. So rotate that back and around and his head comes up and I really like the way it's painted. The uh, helmet is black and the face is gold and it really does look good. Probably my favorite mini cons, you know, not Target Master mini cons that they have. And right here we have Runway and Wreckage. These are the most dramatically changed of the whole set. This, it looks like an alien ship. I mean, it's just all strange angles, very jagged. But again, the only thing that actually changed was the main portion. The tail section with the jet engines is the same. The robot, everything is the same except for all the jaggedness around here. And this is a very sleek jet, and to go from this to this is just a really big jump. But uh, let's transform it. Now, the nose cone does not flip up in this one. He also has landing gear. I'm not going to take the time to show it just because I don't feel that's necessary for his robot mode or his jet mode even, actually, because he sits pretty level just sitting on his engines. Uh, and that's him. The rear section, the jet portion, becomes a chest piece for him, much like on Jet Storm. And I'm just going to rush through this right here. Flip that down. It's, it's a very simple transformation. Pretty effective, but uh, very simple. Anytime they're standing, they're resting on their nose cones. All right. We're back. They're back in their plane modes and ready to become the Energon Saber of their respective series. You're going to start off with, on this one, Sonar, split him in half, like, oh, have to extend the legs first, like that. Now, you will then, oh my god, a spider, okay, take and flip his nose section up just like whenever you're going to robot mode and right here there's a roundish peg that will slot into this peg right here now for the last step you're going to take this guy right here and you're just going to push him on like that and you have the Energon Saber I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the Energon version. And let me get somebody to hold them just so you can see them being held. Classics Optimus Prime holding both Energon Sabers and he looks pretty good with them. So that's pretty much it. I mean, great little figures. I mean, when you consider that each of these, they when they were new sold for like seven dollars for the set you know and then I bought them in two packs so I only paid three dollars and fifty cents or so for each one of these so anyway Super Hot Rod GX I hope you enjoyed the reviews and uh, keep them coming I mean they're really piling up but I enjoy doing them for y'all so enjoy I, thanks a lot y'all